you have a new album coming out. Yes. We have the, well, we have the three disc discography that has everything we've ever done in the studio. Songs that we didn't even know that were on tapes that went in, I finished them, we remixed and remastered all the songs. Um, it's on the, the three records set uh, on the vinyl and two CDs in uh, and and that set. Um, we also have a record um, in the can waiting, to, like I said, to do for Greg to do the guitar work and then lay down vocals and stuff. Uh, at the studio, we do a lot of this stuff. It's a double time studio in San Diego, and uh, we, we enjoy it. It's just a great time, you know. So when we get that done, just keep going. You know? Well, that was my question: is now that you have the new album, it'll be coming out probably what yeah. six months or so a year. Uh, well, this hasn't even been properly out. We, we actually, this record we, we picked up in Germany. It was pressed in Germany, and we have to ship most of them home and, and stuff like that to actually to set up that this is out. Because nobody even knows it's out. You heard it here first. And so, like, uh, so like we have to let this kind of do its little cycle, and then we'll release the other one. So. Yeah, let that one get in, yeah. and yeah. yeah and then, so, like, we're like really trying to get like. Japan, uh, Australia, South America, and all that sort of stuff. So we're working on all that. So uh, just just to keep busy is, and then not stop. So it's just basically more touring in, in line for you then. And some people could say unfortunately, unfortunately, but yeah. Uh, well, the thing is about touring is either you love it or you fucking hate it, and um, it all depends on your mindset. You know, if you if you have like. A horrible woman that doesn't want you to go anywhere, then you're not gonna have a good time, you know. And they're always like fucking with you on the road. They're like mine, I have a beautiful woman that she takes care of me. She comes with, or she stays home. But it's up to her what she wants to do. And uh, so, you know, I, with her support, I I, I I manage to keep a good head on my shoulder instead of like, you know, going up the deep end and finding trouble. You know, and I don't want trouble anymore. So, yeah, just, trouble's no fun at all, right? George Anthony, non-troublemaking guy. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fake news. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, when can we hope to see you back in Europe? Um, I'm trying to do six to eight months because um, I'd like to do a, a, a better and more uh, substantial tour. Like, because we only hit like the top part of Italy. Like, there's a lot of part in the south that we didn't play. We did just two English shows. Um, we did three German shows. Uh, two Belgian shows we'll be doing one in Netherlands and I mean like do a, a really extensive tour and I like touring in the winter much more than the summer one fuck heat you know and agreed I, I like wear a jacket and be like ah, 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 you know and, and stuff like that but summertime is you, you sit home and sit in a pool or somebody you go to your friend's house who has a pool yeah or exactly something to cool off yeah you don't want to be on a hot sweaty stage though. i live in a sailboat me and cheryl live in a sailboat so it's like it's horrible can't stand it and um uh, so you know we live right out of the water it's always cool you've always got that breeze though to cool ah. you down so that's yeah. it we got we got great stereo system and a big tv but internet where we fucking sail the boat when we want to i don't know it's a horrible life i can't stand it but uh no grass to cut <laughs> yeah i'm a, like my, oh my God, I got two sons, and one of them is doing tattoos in San Diego, and my you know, youngest is uh, he's, just, he's still in high school and stuff, but I'm trying to talk him into going to Berlin to go to school to be an engineer because he likes all that shit, so he's the smart one of the family, you know? Well, I'm not sure if he's the only smart one, yeah, to be yeah, honest, yeah. but... But he's like the one that, you know, hang out, you just got to do it like this, and dad, you know, I'm a, oh, okay. <laughs> definitely Berlin for him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But all in all can't wait to get back because um, I lived here for two years uh, back in the 90s and stuff and and I missed it terribly because there's no place like England and Europe and stuff it really isn't I mean America is my home and San Diego is my home and stuff but right now it's not that much fun and uh, so a lot of uh, um, I don't know how to say it I'm like a complete asshole but it's not a, it's not the United States it's like a divided country and it sucks so it's kind of like oh, we'll come back when everybody gets a little bit their shit together and and calm the fuck down because really um it's all about you know us against them and it, it and that last time that happened there was a civil war exactly exactly and yeah. i think they're building towards one over there again and you have certain people fucking just stoking that fire and, and fuck that shit and so i'd rather come over here i mean yeah every place has got their problems 
don't get me wrong, but um, you can you can uh, enjoy life. And so, I mean, I, I granted, it's not really making a big deal about it, but when you're in certain areas in, ca- in the country, you're just like, we got to get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God, yes, yes. The same thing I'm sure here, you know? Oh gosh, yeah, we've got our issues here with Brexit. It's, it's a similar situation. <clears throat> when you know it's like that, but what are you doing there? Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, you know, it's like so. It's like I really, uh, I just really want to see the rest of the world and stuff, and play Battalion of the Saints music and have a great time. That's it, really. Yeah. That sounds like a perfect life to me. So the two of you go out and do it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Very much. So no chefing for you then. Well, I do catering when I'm not doing music. I I do cater. I work for these. Uh, Big catering company, Paul Ledoux and Foxtel. We, I work it for like we do catering at like Netflix, fucking Facebook, all these goddamn Instagram, all these places. The, the Raiders, also. And it's like, you come in, I get paid a lot of money. Come in, and I go home. I don't have to worry about shit. Instead of like, oh, I gotta do this guy's schedule. I don't know. Nah, fuck that. I just go in, do my business, drive home. I love it. Some nice food, walk away, yeah. and that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like doing a gig. Get in, do the thing, and go. You know, pack out. That's it. Simple stuff. And on that note, I'm going to let you get going because you've had a long trip and a long day, and I'm sure you need to get some rest after this. So. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Thank you, NPRV News. See you next time.